exactly. Uh, we are nice and quiet here. Uh, we're not going to see that rain pick up till tomorrow morning. That's what's going to keep us from seeing any severe weather really out of this. We're not anticipating any. There's always that chance we could get a rogue strong storm. Uh, but the big deal is the severe weather out to the west. Wanted to show you this. Here's Memphis, just so to give you a perspective. And Mississippi down here, we've got a severe a tornado warning, which is likely got a tornado on the ground with it that is coming into the suburbs of Memphis right now. So this is a highly populated area, a very scary situation happening at night. And we have those tornado warnings just lined on up through Indiana, uh, port near Indianapolis, near Fort Wayne, moving out of Illinois. Now here's how it plays out for us. Let's go hour by hour with the latest computer model. This is our high resolution model uh, that comes down really just hours before an event. So this does a really good job of timing things out. And it shows the mountains getting hit around 6 a.m. And then this line is going to be a pretty quick mover. This is 9 a.m. It's on top of the upstate. So Greenville, Anderson, Spartanburg. This is really when I think you're going to see the peak of activity. And then it quickly rushes off, really weakening, though. You can see a lot of just light shower activity as we head toward uh, 10 to 11 o'clock. So our severe threat's going to be very, very low at this point, but some rumbles of thunder, heavy rain, and then we're going to see windy conditions develop behind the front. So let's track that wind hour by hour because this is going to be a serious situation wind-wise in the afternoon, more than your typical windy day. So here's 11 a.m., gusty, gusts at 33 in Greenville there. And then we go ahead, you can see we're seeing some gusts in the 40s. Uh, wouldn't surprise me in the mountains, especially those higher train locations, to get gusts over 50 miles an hour. That could knock over trees in areas. Got to be aware of how uh, how windy it's going to be. It's going to be in the, at the worst in the mountains. Upstate, though, still an issue. And notice even into the evening it'll be windy, but it will settle overnight. So here are the impacts as we're looking into Saturday. You want to bring in those loose items, garbage bins, recycle bins, because those things could blow on down the road or at least get knocked over and be in the road. You don't want that to happen. Uh, dangerous for inflatables. You know, there are a lot of events going on this weekend. In fact, my own neighborhood, we were going to get some inflatables for an egg hunt uh, and we're, we had to cancel that because of the wind. Uh, some trees could go down as well. Uh, primarily in the mountains, but it could be an issue uh, for the upstate too. So very windy afternoon, but at least the rain should be done by around 11 a.m. or so. Uh, by Sunday, we're going to be in the clear and the wind calms down. So pick that day, I think, to be outside and enjoy time uh, with the kiddos out there. Uh, next week, we'll get into a little more unsettled pattern again by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, no big rain day out of these, but we're going to be in a situation where some scattered showers and thunderstorms could develop just about each and every day. Plenty of energy for those for sure. Uh, so we'll be watching. No big severe threat though from what we're seeing right now. In the mountains, be the first alert weather day for Saturday because of those morning storms and afternoon wind and then looking ahead to a much nicer Sunday. Now be sure to download our Fox Carolina first alert weather app if you haven't done it already. This is your best tool to stay ahead of these storms. It's a better way for us to serve you as well. Scan the QR code on your screen if you can and if you do that it'll take you right to where you download the app so you don't have to go in the app store and search around and figure out what is this the right weather app and this one that code will get you there and we will be sending you updates through the weekend to let you know where those storms are headed and just how the wind is impacting your area.